this is Jen Healy, and we are on day 22 of our 30-day Yoga Swing Challenge. This has been really great. We're going to continue working with the neck and shoulders. Really important to release the tension that sits in this area of the body. Really common, one of the most common complaints. Besides rearranging the posture and getting the chest lifted, getting the sternum lifted, and the shoulders rolling back to lengthen through the front of the spine and release the tension in the lower body and the hips and, and back, it's also really important for us to start to focus on that connection of the head sitting right over the body, as well as the shoulders and the neck dropping down so we can really release that tension that sits on top of the shoulders in the traps there. So this is called X Factor. It is one of my favorite sequences. And uh, to be honest, it's a little complicated to get in and out of and I'm gonna talk you through it nice and slow. So just do the best you can. I'm gonna start out facing away from you. You can just go ahead and face the camera as you are. It's just a little bit easier for you to see when the swing is behind my back and I am showing you how to put the leg loops on. So we're gonna sit in the swing. It's one of the few postures, postures that we can actually just let ourselves be seated and supported in the swing itself. So we're gonna be using the leg loops on our shoulders. So we're gonna take the leg loop and we're gonna put it, we're gonna get our arms through the center and put it underneath the armpits, okay? Like you're putting on a t-shirt. So we put one on. This is called X factor for a reason, right? So we take the other one, we put both arms through the center of the loop, we put it underneath the armpits, okay? When we lean back, there's gonna be an X in front of us, and then the leg loop is spread apart, and the outer leg loop is underneath our arms, and the outer leg loop, we can put our elbows on the inside of that, okay? Elbows on the inside, so that that outer leg loop will now sit on top of the shoulders. We can pull them apart to get them a little bit more spacious there. And there's still an X in front of you. From there, the first position is we push the swing down to the knees. Then we're gonna go ahead, pull the leg loops away from one another to create a little bit of space. And then use your chillaxin arms. Okay, you can roll your shoulders around and should that feel really good? This is called shoulder squeeze. Okay, so the, leg, the swing is at my knees, I'm pushing my hips towards the sky, and I'm pressing back into the leg loops strongly. The more I press back, the deeper I go into that squeeze. So even though it is a shoulder stretch, it's more of a shoulder squeeze. We're using the swing to massage us and wring out the tension. Okay, from here, it's also nice to do a little fishtail movement from side to side where I'm arching in the side body, we call that fishtail, and that'll start to open up the intercostals and this whole length of the side torso, which also gets really sticky. So we're working with the energy of the gallbladder line, which runs through the legs, through the sides of the body, goes up into the shoulders and the neck here. Okay, so gently Rocking from side to side, make sure you're pushing your hips up towards the sky strongly and then pushing your head back into your hands. That's how you get the shoulder squeeze. Okay, so now moving on to step two, a little bit harder. We reach around and we grab for the swing itself. We're going to pull it above our bum. So it's along the top of the waist there, okay? So we push the swing away and we kick up. We use our core to wrap our legs wide and around. Okay, so the swing is hitting the inner thighs and then the feet are hooked in front. Now from there, just sink your hips down towards the earth, tuck your chin into your chest and pull the back of the neck up towards the sky. This is gonna feel really, really good to open up the cervical spine again. Okay, now when you're ready, you can arch and push your hips towards the sky. Push your hips forward and up. Okay, now from here, this might be as far as you go, which is totally fine. If you wanna go a little bit further, you're gonna reach up and grab for the top of the swing. Grab for the top of the outer leg loop, push your legs straight, and then pull yourself straight up and down. You have to kind of adjust the leg loops into a sweet spot by pulling them up. And now you're staying arched, your legs are straight, and you can release your hands down towards the ground. It is so amazing. Now this is when gravity becomes our best friend and is doing all the work for us. We get to just hang out and get the benefits of it. So the X is what's creating the squeeze on top of the shoulders 
And then I like to gently rock my head from side to side. So I'm looking over the opposite shoulder and then I can rock my ear to the shoulder. So two different stretches. You can play with what feels good for you. When you're ready to come out, you basically just sink your hips down, bring your hands back into chillaxing, go back to that second pose where we're curling up into a ball and pulling our chin into our chest. Okay, and then when you're ready, you can hold on and gently bring your legs wide and come to sit. Now when you come to sit, you can just gently get the leg loops off the neck, release those, and you're in your sumo squat. Okay. Whenever you go upside down like we just did, because we got a little inversion in there as well, you want to sit in the swing for a while to let the body acclimate to this upright position. So it's really important to take your time coming in and out of such intense poses. This will feel completely different. It's like wringing out an old sponge, you know, getting all the tension out, and there should be more length and space there. But take your time moving in and out of these poses. Maybe stay with the first and second version before you go fully upside down into the X-factor shoulder squeeze. Okay, well I hope that helps. I hope you're enjoying the different versions that we're offering for the neck and shoulders as well as all the parts of the body. You can find more information at aerialyogaplay.com and these are the Arex Yoga Swings. Please do leave your comments below letting me know the experience you're having and the benefits you're gaining from using the swing and I'm looking forward to picking a winner at the end of the month. Thank you. I'm Jen Healy. Namaste.